Paul, thanks for your time. That was the first run out today. What did you make of it? Well, exactly what I was expecting. Um, the lads are leggy. We've done no, like, you know, play. You know, it's just all about fitness and a little bit of ball work this week. So it's just a box ticking exercise, really. Uh, just try and get them out of this. Give them 45 minutes each. Try and come out of it injury free. Obviously, we didn't take any risks with Sibs. We could have. Didn't take any risks with Nighty. Um, and obviously, unfortunately, um, Tom's picked up something. Not sure how severe, but that's all it was really. So as a game, but would, would I prefer it to be football utopia? Sure, but it isn't about today. It's about you know when the the league starts. So we'll gradually build them up. And you know, I think we had six or seven like pups playing today. Half of them had played together before, so I wasn't expecting complete football unity. But on the whole, I think some come out with some real credit. And like I said, they look physically look okay. When you're going into today, do you look for much or, or anything at all from these in terms of performances or is this as you mentioned at the start there it's purely box ticking exercise and that's yeah, it. a little bit for us and that sounds awful I mean I love to win eight nine nil and be absolutely awesome but there's no point of having that and then on the first day of the season not having anything so it is a little bit like you just want to turn up you want it to be a, an interesting game for both sets of fans to be fair and I thought uh, the opposition were really good, made it really difficult for us and it's not a normal pace of a league game, is it? Because, you know, and it's going to change this year with the whole time-wasting thing, but the ball's out of play quite a lot and try and move the ball and you're playing with different balls, different grass. That isn't an excuse, but it's just different. Um, and it's the same for them in the second half, in fairness. But it's just about trying to get lads uh, a little bit of a feel, playing a derby shirt, just get to know each other a little bit more. That was it. We gave them... No tactical nuances before the game. We just said, go out and enjoy yourself. Look after yourself, but put a shift in. And there's certain things in the game that I love. I love the fact that Callum crossed it from here and uh, Joe smashed a volley from 15 yards out. I love that. I love the fact that Joe keeps putting crosses in the middle of the six. I am well aware of the fact we need more attacking prowess. We need more goals in the team. Uh, and, that, and that will obviously come with recruiting and... Um, with coaching as well hopefully so yeah so it's just about literally turn up nice to see the fans fans to see the new players obviously you know no uh, Mendes Lang no Knighty no Sibs no Connor Washington no Sonny Bradley um, so you know the team will look completely different come the start of the season but I try to separate the better players to help the younger ones out and you know some can go away really pleased with themselves mentioned the two lads who signed last night. We'll talk about Connor Washington first, someone that you know well from yep. your time at Rotherham. How pleased are you to get him in the building? Because he's a striker that knows this division well and he's played higher up too. Yeah, very pleased. Uh, I mean, all my signings I'm pleased with. We, we do a lot of work on it. We, it takes a lot to um, do it and w whatever people think. We're not like... Uh, Real Madrid in League One. We, you know, we, we are a good club. I know that, and I know people want to come. But we are the better players. You are competing with other clubs, so it takes a lot of work to get them in. And a lot of people behind the scenes. But Wash is someone I tried to sign on a couple of occasions. I did last summer. He came in, and you know, we kept encouraging him to shoot. He runs in behind all the time, stretches play that we haven't got at the club as a striker. We don't have anyone that wants to run in behind even last season really and we can't just be one dimensional we can't just be sideways backwards and look for you know the perfect goal we have to sometimes be able to turn teams stretch teams and, and then be able to play so Wash is a an amazing human being I love him as a man he was um, amazing for me his work ethic and dedication to the game is something else and he scored goals in League One for fun I think he scored six last year and probably only started about 10 games so um, he could be a really good asset for us and, and like I say all the time it's not um, it's not just about what you can do on paper as in stats and goals and assists you know some players bring more than that Wash will bring the best out of other players uh, he'll be great in the dressing room and collectively it's not the it's not the best 11 that get promoted in the season it's the best squad it's the best group of people uh, who are all determined for success and Wash is um, right up there as one of the best Sonny Bradley then, a centre-back who has been much sought after. How pleased are you to get him in as well? Yeah, because clearly same. he's someone that's generated a little bit of noise. Yeah, well, I'm not aware of any noise. I don't live here and I'm not on Twitter, so that's great. So, uh, look, Sonny uh, has had a really good career. I tried to sign him when he was leaving Plymouth. I tried to convince him to come and he chose Luton. So, I mean, I took the rejection well. I've come back and I'm not holding it against him. 
I'm a new man. Five years ago, I might have took it really harsh, but I'm trying to be a better person. So, uh, yeah, really pleased. I know uh, he wants to be a championship centre-half. I watched his interview last night. Um, he has no intention of playing League One, nor do any of us. We haven't come here to be League One. The players we've signed aren't, don't want to be League One. They all want to be back in the champ. And we want to sign players that you know can potentially play in League One, obviously. But if we go up, we're going to be useful. And Sonny's definitely one of them. He's in the middle of the six in both boxes. We need more goal threat off set pieces. Even that was a little bit evident today, but it worked on it. But he's a real leader. He'll pull people about. You know, we've got some really good defenders at the club now with Nels, Cash, Foz. So uh, them four can battle it out if we play a three. So really pleased. And, um, you know, um, I just think... He's greater than the sum of his parts, if that makes sense. And the more players you can have like that in your team, the better. So uh, really pleased and look forward to, you know, I gave him the day off today, like with Wash, because um, moving out and that. So uh, it was a bit of a whirlwind last night signing him at crazy o'clock. So I look forward to seeing him tomorrow before we get on the plane. Just lastly, you're off to Spain tomorrow. You referenced it there. Yeah. Hell week was how someone described yeah, it yeah. yesterday. I, I, I guess that's a little bit tongue in cheek, but it's going to be a, a great yeah. week for you to have them all together 24 7, get some work in, and I would also imagine really start to build those sort of <laughs> bonds and relationships. Yeah, you want, you want friendships, you know, they'll be doing things that probably take them out of their comfort zone, talking about themselves in front of the group. Obviously, uh, we do, we'll do some fun with them, but we're not like, you're not going to prison. I mean, they're fortunate, they're very elite players, but they, they need to train a certain way. They'll be up very early training before breakfast. They'll train again. They'll train again late in the afternoon. They'll do loads of classroom work. And that's what I just said to me in the dressing room there. Don't be disappointed that, you know, everything isn't flowing. It shouldn't flow. I don't, in fairness, if they came here today and were outstanding, I'd think we haven't trained them hard enough. So all them little things will come this week. I'll obviously give them a little time to themselves, a good 20 minutes here and there. Um, and hopefully we come back then and then, Really, you start sort of hitting your pace then. We have some good games to play and we sort of see where we are. We're obviously still, you know, four or five players away from where we want to be. And, um, uh, yeah, so I look forward to the week. It looks like it's reasonably hot. So if you're a Derby fan going out, you have a great time. You're more than welcome to join in the seven o'clock runs.